So I'm Mark from Futsal Miniatures. Uh, I'm one of the owners of the company. Uh, we took over the company from Bill Thornhill a few years ago now uh, and have been growing the ranges and we've added rules and games as well. So lots of people will have heard of Gangs of Rome and Baron's War as our main systems and Mortal Gods as well. And uh, we keep... We keep working on different things. Uh, we have our own I ideas and passions of what we want, but there's lots of people out there who give us feedback about what they want to do. So we take that on board as well. Uh, and we managed to grow the company quite successfully over the last few years. And part of the way we do that, because we're not a big company, um, is we take things like the Vikings to Kickstarter, which have been sculpted by the wonderful Matt. Is that me, is it? Hi. That's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm Matthew Bickling. I'm the chief putty whittler. And, uh, and yeah, I made the Vikings. Can't really yeah. say more than that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and our late Saxons and our Welsh. Oh, and the Welsh, yes. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. And there's some, uh, some very dark fantasy stuff that he's done for us as well, which is wonderful, which hopefully people will see uh, in the not-too-distant future. So... He's uh, putting himself down a bit there. He's actually he's actually uh, a great sculptor who would really enjoy working with. Uh, logo uh, was done by a guy called Steve Beckett, who we work with. Um, does does a lot of our artwork and stuff. Incredible artist, um, and we wanted something that really represented uh, you know the Vikings. We think he's captured what we were after really well. So it's a really nice, really nice image. I think that's. Um, that kind of tell, tells you everything that you need to know about Vikings <laughs> in one so. picture. This is the initial image that we saw. Oh, we're babies. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not yeah, all of them. So, that's, that's just a, that's a, that's a pretty big chunk of it, but it's not everything. Yeah, well, we divided it into three sections. So um, what we wanted was to be able to offer a comprehensive range right from the start. So when we were talking about what we wanted and what we needed, um, there was my blue sky thinking vast range, which probably would have taken Matt about 10 years to make. And then Matt quite sensibly went, I can't do all of that, Mark. Um, so so we cut it down to more of a range that we, that we wanted, which you know will still work for big battle games if that's what you want to play yeah. but ideally for skirmish games and then obviously we've got Barons War Conquest and then there's the Saga guys out there as well who are really doing skirmish gaming there's the two main areas that we're really really looking at but um, what we also wanted was to try and capture the differences in the Vikings so you know they're not they're not all of the same. We wanted to show that, you know, that there's lots of variety within the troop types like that. So these first ones you've got here are uh, some of uh, Matt's and Armoured Archers. And they're just, you know, your basic, I want to say basic Bondi. There's nothing there's nothing basic about these figures. I think they're lovely. The detail on them is is fantastic. So, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're, it's a nice range of Viking equipment. So Matt's done a good job of, the research and stuff as well to look into this. So it's really odd to see them on the screen. They're like six inches tall. <laughs> They've never been that big before. Got Matt tell us well, about they're berserkers, berserkers, aren't they? They're, they're, they're the uh, yeah, the fellas who are hopped up on magic mushrooms or <laughs> whatever it was that they used to take. Allegedly, which is brew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we've gone on and we're looking at these guys who were obviously well equipped because you know not everybody could afford a male shirt and a decent helmet so you know and these guys are That's a big the, chunk of change big chunk of change at that period of time to have anything yeah. metal yeah. yeah absolutely yeah so you know the fact that these guys have got have got mail they've obviously got swords on their side and and they've got you know the ever useful hand axe so uh you know nice and then again these guys have got lots of character you know, they they look they look like what they are. They look like you know they're you know they're heavyweights ready to go. So oh here we go. This is this will probably be contentious. We've done uh, archers in mail, so uh, lots of people uh, presume that you know the archers would have been the lower class warriors, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and probably couldn't afford mail. But when you actually look into the Viking sagas and stuff, you know the bow was considered a military weapon, and being good with the bow 
you know, was a skill set. So having a choice of having some guys in male who look, you know, reasonably wealthy as well, we thought was a nice addition to what, um, you know, to the kind of ranges that are already out there. Yeah, they all, yeah the bows and horses, they all use them. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because we know the Vikings didn't really fight as cavalry, but yes. um, we know they used horses a lot. So I'm sure that, you know, if they ran into somebody else, they didn't go, hang on a minute, chaps, we just have to get off our horse now because we only fight on foot. But obviously, we've got, we got to have have a shaman of uh, of some type as well some pre- for you know for the pre-christian types um it's just nice to have that little bit of character in there you know just a little bit different from maybe what some of the other people have done out there um and he looks like um he looks suitably hard and in uh, suitably a bad mood so <laughs> <laughs> everyone's very angry that's the best time i've seen those Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, uh, George painted those for us. So, um, oh, well done, George. Yeah, he's done a really nice job. So, uh, I think it was George, uh, and I think those ones as well. Steve Beckett's painted some as well. Um, George, you might know, is George Aslin, who's partnered with Andy Hobdave to write Gangs of Rome, which we just got out. So, yeah, this is one of our characters. So, That's Rollo, these guys, I think. Are, yes, yeah, Rollo is it. Uh, it's, these guys are actually going to be free in the Kickstarter based on the pledges. So, um, which one's that, that one? Uh, that's, that's uh, Ragnar, old, Ragnar, old Ragnar, old, old yeah. Ragnar pre snake yeah. bit, yeah, yeah, pre snake bit. Rag- <laughs> Ragnar, yeah. is that Guthrum? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's Guthrum, yeah. So, uh, one of the leaders of the great invasion, is that is that right, Matt? Yes, yes, one of the named ones. Yeah. I mean, there were lots. There yeah. were, you know, there were lots of them. Yeah, so this, this, this Ivan is this is Ivar the Boneless. Yeah. Ivar the Boneless, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's suitably, suitably Wonky. misshapen and slightly twisted, <laughs> and you know, because uh, we wanted we wanted somebody who would look, you know, just a bit disturbing, and I think he fits the bill perfectly. Okay, so when you back the Kickstarter within the first twenty four hours, you will receive this amazing Viking shaman for free. Yeah, that's right. So again, this uh, you know, again pre Christian, you know the 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 Vikings with all their different uh, religious uh, gods and all the different things that they had going on. You know, the shamans were an important part of their society. Okay, well, let's have a look at the actual pledges themselves. So you've broken it to three different types. So you've got Loki's Tricksters, Odin's Wrath, and Thor's Hammer, yeah? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So I think it's going to be Thor's Hammer is the first part of the release. So we've kind of started making the production moulds on these in the belief that we're going to fund. So we're kind of on those already. So, you know, again, with all of these things, there's when you go to Kickstarter, there's a whole... There's a whole raft of work that goes in beforehand. There's all the planning and the talking with Matt about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And also kind of like what's the most cost effective way to do it to make sure you've got this 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 range of figures. And then once you get to that point, there's a whole new set of process that has to happen, which is the master mold making, taking the figures, making the tins, which then you use to make the production molds, which is another set of molds. And then if a Kickstarter goes well, you might end up making two or three moulds of certain figures. And then after you've done that and the Kickstarter's hopefully funded, then you have to actually make it all, which is another whole set of time-consuming business. And we we have in our, our business, we're only little, we have two casting machines. So um, mm. we normally have one casting machine that runs day-to-day and then come delivering kickstarters the second casting machine gets switched on and we start casting for that as well but then again depending on how well a kickstarter goes it can be quite a lead time in between first starting to cast and then casting everything that you need so if we talk about the bands or kickstarters where we sold you know we could we could set we could easily get 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 through you know thousands of thousands of figures um you know it takes can take three four months to cast it all so um you know this is just the start of the process so at the moment we're at that point where we've got sculpts and we're getting ready to for the kickstarter to go live hopefully everybody likes it and then if they like it we'll do thor's hammer is a is a first goal odin's wrath is the second goal 
and then Loki's Tricksters is 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 the third is the third goal. So it will either fund and it will do okay, or we'll just do Thor's Hammer. Hopefully, it'll do better than that, and we'll do Odin's Wrath as well. Then, ideally, Loki's Tricksters will, will fund as well, and we'll do all of it. And people will have the choice to either back one of them, two of them, three of them, all all of them. Um, obviously, the more you buy, the better deal you get. We believe in. If we're going to Kickstarter and we're getting people to put their money up front, then we should reward them for that. Um, so there's always lots of uh, lots of deals to do on it. And again, if people don't want to buy the entire deals, they could just buy packs. You know, they could do that little Kickstarter pledge and just just back, and then choose what choose what they want later. So um, it's it's you know it's it's important. The Kickstarter is important part of the process to make sure that you know we've got it right. We've made stuff that people want. Then you know the Kickstarter tells us how much how much they want. <laughs> yeah, as Matt says, <laughs> you can't see my legs. My legs are crossed yeah. as well. <laughs> so yeah, but um, you know we've got for as you, well you know you can see we've gone for a, a a dynamic looking range with lots of movement and excitement in it, and that's you know that that for us that's you know what the Vikings were mostly as well. They were you know they didn't always do that well in the big battles, but you know. Raiders par excellence, you know. So you could see these guys jumping out of their long ships, running up the beach, raiding villages, you know, trying to get out or fighting a rear god action before the enemy turned up. You know, these are this is what these guys are all about. Awesome. Yeah, I love I love how dynamic the poses are. I think that's one of the things that really struck me when I first saw them is the motion that they have. And I really love that about them. So that's wonderful. Well, thank all right. you. So let's have a look now to the things that could be unlocked during the campaign. Oh, there you go. Oh, we could have done with this slide earlier, couldn't we, Matt? It's got all the names <laughs> on it. It's half, it was half done. It's half done, not Guthrum. Guthrum's got a torch. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so these these, <clears throat> these guys, you know, these, these are going to be uh, free with the stretch goals. So there's some really good, you know, I think I think they're all lovely. You know, there's some really good characters there. Uh, and... Uh, Again, we've tried to do that kind of thing where it's part of. Um, it's mostly based around about the great uh, the the great invasion, so the characters are kind of from there. But you know, you've got Bjorn Ironside in there, and you've got Ivar and Rolo. You know, all of these people who who are, who are well known names. Uh, and again, we've. I think Matt's. You know, he's just captured that kind of like. Um, feel that they would have been these charismatic guys able to get these other guys to uh, to follow them you know and we're not you know the uh, uh vikings were a pretty independent lot so you know you need somebody who's really charismatic to be able to pull them all together and lead them so uh you know, or had a lot of silver yeah. one or the other <laughs> yeah or they had a lot of silver yeah yeah <laughs> um but uh you know these guys these guys all look like leaders so you know i'm uh, what can you say? I just think they're lovely. Yeah, they're absolutely amazing. I love these models here, especially. I mean, the the range, the ex existing range before that was really, really high quality. But then seeing these, like, wow, you know, I really want to see all of these unlocked so they're accessible to everybody who backs the Kickstarter. I think that'd be really nice to see. And I think people, I think this would really get them, uh, urge them on to, you know, bid, uh, to pledge more and to see these in their hands. So let's hope, guys. Uh, now let's have a look at the date. When's it going to be launched? Well, it's coming on Sunday, the seventeenth of March, just around the corner. Yeah. yeah. So it's um, you know we'll we'll go live. Um, there'll be a couple of us guys sat on the computers uh, waiting for questions uh, and stuff. Really looking forward to it. Uh, both uh, Matt and I have put a lot of hard work in to get it to where it is. Not that I'm claiming any sculpting skill at all, Matt. Um, uh, I don't know. You wield uh, a mean whip. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's good. It's, it's, it's good to have directional conversations. Um, That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but it's uh, you know it's the start in lots of ways. It's the start of the process. So, like I say, hopefully everybody will come and back us who, who likes Vikings and who doesn't like Vikings. Um, and the Saxons. Uh, yeah, but the Saxons. Yeah. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> That's a good point. Well made. Um, but, you know, there's, yeah, there's, uh, again, you know, if people like the figures, 
there's a range of Saxons, there's a range of Welsh as well, all done by Matt that are all that are all, all fit in. All our figures are kind of fairly compatible height size, but proportionally wise, mats tend to be slightly chunkier than some of our other stuff. Um and uh, uh you know, they got, got a little bit more of that uh a little bit more heroic, I think, is the is the term. So um, corn fed, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Corn fed. <laughs> so yeah. So um, yeah. I mean, you know, someday we find out whether we made the right decision and sculpted the right range. Well, guys, I, I, I wish you both the, the very best. I think it's going to be very successful. I I, uh, I I'm certainly going to have a look at it and get the guys at the Chrono Command to have a good uh, peek at it as well. And try to uh, try to force them to spend a bit of their hard-earned money in getting some of these Absolutely. wonderful Matthew designs, eh, for these Vikings because you can use them fantasy games as well. Uh, if it's not just uh, historical games, so you can use them in various different ways. They've got that sort of heroic feel, like you say. They've got that nice chunkiness to them, so they'll fit perfectly into uh, different other ranges for different systems as well. So uh, yeah, I agree. I think you know Matt Scholes. Yeah fit perfectly well in against a lot of the fantasy ranges you know no problem at all yep awesome all right guys so all we can do now is uh yeah get get everybody ready and prepared so i'll drop a link in the sh in the notes under this video to say where you can go to to get notified on kickstarter when it launches because we're not certain exactly the time when it will start uh kicking off so yeah, get get yourself notified as I do, as I have with an email to know when it actually launches, and then you can jump in and check out the pledges, and then make your decision from there. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining the Chronic Command to present this Kickstarter. And again, I wish you all the very best. Thank okay, you. Brilliant. Thank you for having us. No problem, mate. Thank you.